Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. Who are we reading for today? My binary leads. <laughs> Brain hemisphere synchronization. King of Pentacles. So, Earth signs. Could have Leo in your chart or strength. But there's messages coming in. <laughs> King of Pentacles, Earth signs. What's going on? Hope everyone is doing fantastic. So the King of Pentacles is someone who's grounded, someone who works hard, very hard, and gets things done. He's very dedicated. It's the masculine energy of great wealth. Someone who's focused on their money, like a stock trader, an investor. It could be real estate. It could be a gardener. There's many different kinds of abundance. Pinnacles are something that's tangible. King of Pinnacles here. Mirabe. Let's see. Shekina. The presence of the divine feminine. At the center of everything, there is light. And I am that light. We are eternal energy. What we put our focus and intention on um, always comes back to us. We see the results as we are a mirror to this world. The saint of true freedom here is love is what sets me free i am married to my own soul it's true and it's been proven again and again when we focus our energy on love and forgiveness joy everything works out for you i see someone a light i see someone also watching another someone very secure someone that's watching over their money someone watching from their own castle someone who has taurus in their chart again libra uh, libra uh, leo energy so someone that could be in the limelight someone who is um leo energy is outspoken someone who is seen Let's see here. Let me show you. What's good? The good tarot. Earth signs. Tower. The tower energy is about epiphanies, sudden change. Here in this card, there, the tower is still standing. In the original tarot, the tower is crumbling down with two people falling um, to the depths of rocky mountains below. Uh, it's card number 16. And through all my years of doing tarot, the tower is almost unequivocally always linked to sudden aha moments like oh and i'm seeing like it's lit up um uh, i see things in a new way I, I wouldn't be surprised if like um hangman or something uh comes out this is also could be about someone's house or castle as i was saying their home is their castle someone's really worried or focused on their home or the investment of a home <clears throat> Six of Earth here at the split, and Nine of Earth with the High Priestess underneath. <clears throat> We've been seeing a lot of twos here the last three days. <coughs> Excuse me. It might be hard for someone to speak up. Maybe that's why that Leo energy is coming in. Um, there is a need to speak up to to say something. Six of Earth is about gifts from the divine or um, 
with this deer here and its great ant antlers. There's some kind of royal royalty or um, the stag energy is about leadership. Also, the stag is hunted. People could, there's something about being hunted. Hunt, people hunt you down. Um, people are on the hunt. Someone's on the hunt. You could be on the hunt for something, uh, a better way to invest your money. It is about investments. Again, here's another two, two of fire. Looking at the future, um, and this woman here, she has, she's thinking. And the giraffe, the spirit of the giraffe, who has its long neck, can see at um, further distances. So she rides this animal and its new uniqueness to um, grab and being able to graze from the highest trees, being able to see long distances. This is someone who's very ambitious, again, with this um, tapestry. It reminds me of royalty. Eight of Earth, this could be dealing obviously this is dealing with money because here eight of pentacles four of pentacles and temptation which here you see a um large treasure of money someone really loves their money uh someone could be sleeping on making a change the devil uh, or here the temptation is all about addictions or negativity uh using your knowledge to manipulate or someone has or someone is thinking about it wearing a mask not showing not um not being of the light but being in the dark or being too overly focused on material gain holding back is the four of earth holding on to it's about saving but it is stability so it's also a scared, it can be a scared energy. Eight of Earth is working, being very good at your craft, and again, looking to the future and seeing the Six of Pentacles. So something, maybe there's an investment in a large home. This is a very large tower, um, still intact. But something about the foundation is, um, is not stable. So there could be a loss of, say, two coins. Um, at the sell of the home or some, you know, this, this is a buyer's, uh, excuse me, this is a seller's market right now, but I see someone recuperating with the nine of coins, but they have to follow their intuition and be very focused and wise. The world is always watching. There is a completion here coming. So when you're thinking of things, seven of water, as you see all these options, what are you focusing on? What are you putting your attention on? You have freedom, the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets her free when she chooses what she truly loves. When you work with spirit, three of earth, working with others, uh, when you work with spirit to begin again, patience, you are, uh, which is the temperance card, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you're blessed. Ace of Earth is a blessing from the hand of spirit. And it starts out small, small inspirational steps, and you continue to move forward as long as you remain very focused and you listen to your intuition. As you see the small flower in her hands, they're blooming. It's something small, but look at all the abundance around her that she's created on her own. Um, you might have to walk away from something. There's eight of water here, something that has maybe served you well in the past because there's treasure here, um, but there's another ship coming in. And though the sea does not look, mm, it looks choppy. It looks, there's like there's fog. Um, this can be a scary moment, uh, but moving forward and following your true bliss, your true divine calling is 
uh, actually the safest bet. And look, 10 of earth, which is 10 of pentacles, which is um, legacy wealth. And it's protected with this wolf here, wolf spirit. They travel in packs. Um, they're very loyal to their family, uh, friends, to this treasure that not is that you can see on the outside but it starts within again here's the messenger of fire which is about it starts with this little flame this little flicker of inspiration and she follows her ideas this inspiration she holds on tightly to it this is a new beginning messengers uh you could be getting a message of inspiration to move towards what truly makes you happy and you see it with your heart and this is true wealth this is the most auspicious uh, affluent card in the deck ten of pentacles and ten of water <laughs> ten of water is the happiest look at that guy he's super happy he's left um ace of fire this is divine the divine hand of inspiration it's a divine gift and the ace of air two aces in a row with the hierophant holy um holy goodness <laughs> literally two aces is that's two blessings an ace of air an ace of swords is truth pegasi pegasus is um a symbol of poetry um, the Hierophant is a symbol of wisdom, following your inner knowledge and believing in the higher power and what you feel is what you know. Even though you can't see it yet, everything's turning in your favor. Fortune's wheel is the wheel of fortune. This is a card of karma. Again, another ten. Three tens here. Tens are about completion. They are also... Um, a number of manifestation and they are also an affluent number ones are about beginnings um, zeros are completions it's the circle of life as they say so it's true that a new cycle is upon you and what you do with it is what you do with it it's your choice there's many things here on her table what will she choose and this is the hangman, the enlightenment. Some of you have been in an uncomfortable situation for quite some time. Some of you have put yourself there on purpose. I mean, our souls always lead us to exactly what we need to see, to do, to further our progress um, as our souls, for our soul's evolution. So seeing things from a higher perspective, from a new perspective, brings great enlightenment. That huge pinnacle here, this golden, there's a golden opportunity here. And um, what you do with it is up to you. You decide your own karma. Uh, the wheel will continue to turn and will always bring forth to you good things, but what you have invested in your mind and what you have given your thoughts to, what kind of energy you've given to other people, how you think of other people is going to determine how you see the karma as it turns. Is it in your favor or is it not? Are you able to receive it or are you not? Because you have to have the confidence, you have to, you have to be able to see it in the way that you can grab it. There is a huge amount of money here. You have a chance to make a very large amount of money that will last um, at least, I mean, this is a lifetime. Uh, this is millions. This is safety. Uh, this is, um, it's a lot of money. You get to choose though what that is. It's ultimate happiness. It's being inspired. Um, 10 10 ace to the, to the 10 i mean i can go on and on how how good that is so the divine feminine energy is about receiving it's allowing the woman takes in uh she is intuitive um 
when you say it's the moon energy uh, it's it's the flow and as you see she's she's caught fire something has caught your eye you could be wanting to buy a new home But this is saying, look to your feminine energy and the light within. Follow your intuition, the high priestess, with the hierophant. Listen to spirit. You have true freedom and love is what sets you free. So make sure you're following uh, your love and passion. Page of Fire, good news about following your heart. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you. And Eight of Air is also about spirit um, giving you signs, dropping little uh, white feathers along your path. There's um, an opportunity here. She's handing you a pearl, but will you take it? Uh, the Hermit is deep introspection. You could have Virgo in your chart or you're dealing with a Virgo. There's Virgo energy around you. But... Um, this is really beautiful. A lot of good things are coming to you. And I hope that you allow them into your life and you accept them with all the beauty and love that you are.